everyone welcome back to part five of our ethnic silicone painting series for Felicity uh, we are now going to create more brown coats so that is my Sam espresso and then of course I like to use this crimson oxide also by Sam we just completed in the last episode pink undertones so let's check it out and see how it turned out Wow I love it. It looks so much more lifelike. And we didn't do her lips, so there is nothing to stick on her lips. But she looks so more, I think, warm. I am going to dab her face, but I'm not going to be adding uh, much pigment to it. What I'm basically doing is just evening out the transition from the darker points of her head. And of course, her limbs will be darker as well. And I, I want to keep her face a little brighter.
At this point, I'm being much more careful around her nails. We want to try to avoid getting brown paint on it. We're going to probably get a few smears, but, um, and you know, and that's fine because what will happen is I'm going to add color to her nail beds to give it some life. So I did all four limbs off camera and we will come back after this cures and see what we need to do next. So now it's a little bit later in the day, the kit has dried and I decided that it's time to redo some of the blue veins and blue shadows. I do have some blue paint already mixed up and uh, it is the Silk Pig uh, Blue and I didn't mix anything with it. I just had it already made up from the Yale kit that I'm also doing at the same time. And of course, if you wanna see the Yale kit, I am going to be showcasing that as well. It'll be a non-talking video.
want to add blue shadows to her head. I don't want it to look like a bruise, but I think, uh, especially with a newborn and possibly considered a preemie, the blue tint here in the temples look really good. And that's going to be the end of this episode in the next one we're going to be working on her lips and bringing more life to it and we'll also add more color to her face <music>